everyone. Here is the first situation. The instructions here ask to represent the force F applied by the hand on the spring scale. A force is applied by one object on another. There are always at least two actors, the sender and the receiver. The one who acts, the one who undergoes. A force is a mechanical action whose characteristics we know. Point of application, line of action, direction, magnitude. Here the action is a contact force. The origin of the vector will be this point of contact. There is only one. The line of action is given by the segment which is there. Here the spring is horizontal. Its axis is horizontal therefore the force is horizontal. What about the direction now? It's given by the arrow. The hand pulls on the spring scale, to the right. Then for the length, I have to apply the scale. One newton represented by four centimeters. How many newtons do I have? It is the spring scale that tells me two and a half. So that's ten centimeters. Here is a horizontal arrow of ten centimeters. Hello, in the following exercise we have a mountaineer second in line pulling on the rope. Not too much, just what it takes to keep the rope tight. I have to move the ends of the arrow to represent the force F applied by C on R, C for climber and R for rope. The magnitude is 6 newtons. 1 centimeter represents 1 newton. The force is located in the center of the hand. The line of action is given by the rope which greatly simplifies the work. I adjust the length. If 1 cm represents 1 newton, the length of the vector arrow should be 6 cm. Next situation. It seems that there are two forces. One in red is the force applied by the spring's tail D1 on P, on the paper clip. So I already know that the point of application will be on the paper clip. The little cross is on the paper clip. Is it pushing or pulling the spring scale? It holds back so the force is like that. Only the length is missing. Let's look at the help. This object is in equilibrium. If a body subjected to two forces is in equilibrium, these forces have the same line of action, opposite directions, and equal magnitudes. So I need two equal and opposite arrows. Don't forget to respect the scale. Two newtons are represented by 1.5 centimeters. Newtons I have four. So that gives three centimeters. Like that. This arrow is well 3 centimeters and the other arrow which is opposite, equal, and opposite, will be 3 centimeters too. I said its weight is being overlooked. No, oops, it's important. Next situation. Here a weird object. It is in balance. There are therefore two forces to represent. And I suggest start with weight. But where is the point of application? I place the point of application at the center of gravity. That is to say at the intersection of the vertical and the axis of symmetry. The weight is directed downwards but I know only the mass. 0.9 kilograms times 10 equals 9 newtons. Since 1 newton is 0.5 centimeters then 9 newtons will be represented by 4.5 centimeters. So I can show you the weight of that object. The force applied by the wire will be opposed to the weight, of course. It is a contact force very well oakled. The cross is there. It is directed upwards since this thread prevents the object from falling. It retains it upwards. I will draw a 4.5 centimeters arrow. Finally the last example. 
This sphere which is balanced on a table. It is subjected to its weight and the reaction of the table which prevents it from falling. I have to apply the weight force in red to the center of gravity which is the center of symmetry of the sphere. And I know that the weight is vertical, directed towards the center of the earth, therefore down. What about the force applied by the table? Well, there is only one contact point. So this force is located here and since these two forces are opposed it will be vertical and directed upwards. I have to draw the right lens. The way it is not given. But you see here that the mass of the sphere is 2 kilograms. The way it is therefore 20 newtons. 2 centimeters represents 10 newtons. This will give 4 centimeters for the weight. So until 4 centimeters for the reaction of the table. I'll try to separate them a bit. Strictly speaking these two forces are superimposed because they are on the same line of action but it is recommended to shift them a little so that we can distinguish them. That's, That's it for, for this video. video. Thank, Thank you. you.